that I typically do with all the clients that come and um, receive treatments. I open up the lymphatic nodes. This is right above the cervical bones. It, um, it is where the, all of the lymph fluid that is um, cleansed. Well, they did a study of lymph fluid and the flow of it. And before it goes into the lymph nodes, it's got all the cellular debris. It's got all the bacteria, the virus, the cancer cells. And once it comes out of the lymph nodes, it's 100% sterile. And then what it does is it goes from the lymph nodes, it's, um, it's in all these different vessels. And the major lymph vessel in the abdomen is called the cisterna chile. And the cisterna chile dumps a lot of the lymph fluid into the thoracic duct, which is right above the subclavicles. So this is the main point of where the lymph gets cleansed and put back into the system. There are a lot of lymph nodes in the neck. So I have to open those up. This is a very typical regime to open up lymphatically. Even if clients access me for cranial sacral work or mind and abdominal work, I like to open them up lymphatically so that it, what it does typically is it signals the lymph nodes to start working and start draining. It works like a vacuum, the lymphatic system. So even if they don't, I mean, obviously if a client doesn't want their lymph nodes opened, I won't do it, but it's, it's helpful for their body because it detoxes their body. It's like taking the garbage out. But the major lymph nodes are located um, in the neck, in the armpit, um, depends on what text you're referring to, but um, they, any, anywhere between 70 to 90 percent of lymphatic tissues in the abdomen and um, also in the groin. And then all around the different joints like the wrists um, and the elbows and the ankles, there's, typically there's a few lymph nodes there as well. And so then I, I, um, in a session, now I can see, I can feel that um, she has some lymphatic congestion, so I opened her up lymphatically, but also um, I'm going to do a little cranial sacral work with her as well. So I'm, right now I'm, I'm just waiting to feel her cranial sacral rhythm. Right now I'm, I'm feeling her um, cranial sacral rhythm, and I'm I can feel that um, a therapeutic pulsing, and she's starting to go into what's called a still point. I'd like to end each session with some reflexology, and I'd like to begin with uh, hot stones on the feet. It's very grounding for the clients, and not only is it grounding, but I can access meridians in the feet. For example, if somebody um, is having a lot of um, gastrointestinal issues and they're not tolerating me working on their abdomen. I can also detox somebody very quickly if I work on their abdomen too deeply. So this way I can access the abdomen in a very gentle, nurturing, effective way by using the stones and some reflexology. Hi, I'm Paula Barron, nurse lymphatic therapist, cranial sacral therapist, and mind abdominal massage practitioner. My practice is in downtown Northampton. I hope you're going to visit my website at lymphaticsmassagema.com. Thank you.